Welcome, welcome to the sunny Benidorm town in Spain, Costa Blanca, and welcome, of course, to the channel Benidorm by Anna, proudly presenting today the Levante Beach, almost beginning the second week of March. Just two weeks' time, and we will have the official start of the summer season, and in less than 10 days, we will be celebrating fallas in Benidorm and we thought that this is a great video for you to see what Benidorm is looking right now what the most popular areas are looking right now and what you can expect if you come in March on holidays right on our way towards the Levante Beach we can see a lot of places prepared for the summer season some of them do offer snacks big oh big burgers vegan burger that's nice veggie mega dog Mediterranean salad, cheese sticks, vegan ones. Wow. Actually, that's something that I really wanted to mention to you. Uh, by the way, you can see this video is proudly presented by my hubby, who's the one filming this video today for us. So let him know that he's doing a good job so that he could continue to help me out on this channel and bring us some nice uh, videos. Buckets. Oh my goodness. Was it a scooter electric scooter my god alcazar 10 euros budweiser and some others 12 or 14 euros so 10 12 14 buckets depending on which ones you would choose tapas here do cost around 2 euros 50 per tapa not the most expensive one but not the cheapest either there's also some tattoo places and body piercing places really popular especially in summer amongst tourists Many do bring these types of memories in terms of tattoos from their holidays in Benidorm. Miller's Beach looks like a very, very fun place, I must say. And they have this futuristic furniture, which I do feel is quite interesting. And it's very full. Sin City. Okay, Sin City. Wow. It's an interesting, unusual place. That's what we're going to tell. And I suppose they do have some nice offers because it's quite full. Here we have bottles, buckets as well, cocktails. Cocktails tend to cost between 5 and 10, 12 euros, depending on the um, type of cocktail and the offer that you will be getting. But a lot of them do have offers here. For example, fresh cocktail is 7 euros, 8 euros or 9 euros if it's a Long Island because it has way more alcohol in it of a different type. The Tiki Place, my goodness. Look at that! People love sunshine, which I absolutely get. People love sunshine and we love sunshine too, actually. Very, very busy, very nice atmosphere. Almost all the tables are occupied except for just a couple of them. And it's a great atmosphere by the Levante Beach. Cocktails, sangria especially, which is a red wine with some sparkling water and some fruit, are the queen drinks on these terraces obviously beer is something that's always always present here and typical cocktails like mojito sex on the beach um long island if you want something stronger but mostly these ones are the most popular ones oh and the tequila sunrise too these type of places mostly people grab only drinks maybe some light snacks but not much more than that they do not serve food like big food options as it is by the way about the food this is what i wanted to let you know i know some of our subscribers do want some healthier food or some vegan options vegetarian options and before maybe even a year ago it was really difficult to find proper vegan vegetarian restaurants some alternative to the meat and you needed to search quite a lot before you could actually find some places but right now as you can see even here on the corner oh my goodness look at this the boats are back wow isn't it too early for them still wow this year it's even earlier how bizarre is that the water pedal boats the colorful pedal boats are back already i think they just just dropped them because they are right here at the beginning of the beach look at these oh that's a unicorn one that's an interesting one these are back usually they put them by june month but now somehow they're already at the beach 
This is insane. This year's season is starting way, way earlier than I thought. But it's strange. If you want just to go into the water, that's one thing. But if you want to jump and swim, it's still quite cold. Why to put them this early? Not too sure. But if they are here, probably they will start working by the beginning of this summer season. The earliest I've seen it ever in the last decade. So about the food, a lot of places do have vegan and vegetarian options. Don't worry about it. Obviously, they also have meat options, different, different types of foods. They have all the allergens, but so that you would know in case, you know, someone who's vegan or vegetarian and who think they might struggle in finding foods in Benidorm. Don't be afraid. There's plenty each time. Normal bars, normal restaurants and cafeterias that do not technically cater only for vegans. They keep adding these things to the menu to be able to cater for everyone, which I think it's a great idea for all the bars who are located here nearby and for all the food places. Today is a very sunny day. Actually, it's really warm on the sunshine. There is a slight wind, but it's not too much, which is why a lot of people came to the beach or to different terraces located here nearby. A lot of bicycles we see lately and a lot of mobility scooters too. That's absolutely insane. This year has to be the record year for tourists arriving to Benidorm. So obviously we will need to have some patience with all of it. We definitely feel like we will see a huge amount of bicycles, which we we'll see them already right now on the road daily. We do feel we'll see a lot of mobility scooters and we'll see a lot of electric scooters as it is. People just need to respect the others, respect those who are walking and not using any kind of transport and use them wisely. Then we shouldn't have any kind of issues at all with it. And we all can have an amazing summer, an amazing holiday here in Benidorm. Look at the terraces of all the snack bars. By the way, shortly we will be making you videos about the typical Spanish breakfast. How much does it cost and what the breakfast looks like and some of the places we will be trying out. And obviously we will start visiting different bars and cafeterias for you to see which most popular places are worth visit. And maybe there are some that are popular but really it's not the same as it used to be before <coughs> and there might be a better option for you guys so if you want to see some specific place from Benidorm if you want us to film it let us know here on the channel in the comment down below we will be able to film it for you guys and you'll be able to see what it actually looks like before you spend your own hardly earned money money on it by the way, typical traditional Spanish breakfast, which basically is a coffee mostly, but you can also ask for a tea, plus the toast with either butter and jam or with toast with olive oil and tomato on it, like a chopped, very like minced tomato and freshly pressed orange juice obviously this is the typical spanish breakfast sometimes the toast is swapped with a croissant but the usual one is a toast grilled toast and this breakfast tends to have a price from around three euros towards four and 450 or sometimes even five so we'll show you around we'll let you know which places have very nice typical traditional spanish breakfast what are the prices there for chocolate with churros for different types of snacks, sandwiches, drinks, so that you would have a better idea on how much you could potentially spend on your holidays here in Benidorm. And I'm seeing another thing. Let me know if you spot the difference from what is the difference between two weeks ago video, two weeks old video from the beach and right now. Pause the video and write it down. And when you did, look at the beach. There are so, so ridiculously many paid sunbeds on it that it is impossible. This is absolutely bizarre. You know that each year Benidorm has a company that works on the beach line and they do own specific spots, which tends to be 
uh, funny part of it, which is not funny, tends to be the best spots on the beach. And this company owns these sunbeds. They obviously pay a specific fee uh, towards the municipal hall. So the town hall is receiving a lot of money from it, actually. And these sunbeds, they cost usually five euros. Plus then you have a an umbrella, which is another six. So that's for the whole day rent, but still it's quite a lot. Oh, look at this. From 11 in the morning till 4 p.m. So far, that's good. Uh, this is the timetable for the library, the beach library, which is a great place. A lot of Norwegians, Scandinavians, even British. A lot of people from all nationalities love it because they can read fresh newspapers, magazines, read a book, or just sit down on the sunshine and play chess with someone. That's also a very, very nice option to have here in Benidorm. And this is something that I personally love. There is a little bit for everyone. Brand new bicycle parking spots. You know, they've been putting them all over the place. These are secure biking spots. It's, it's not expensive. You don't have to pay anything. You just need to register. And uh, basically, with a pin, you simply put your bicycle in. You put the code and then you come back. You put the code. Uh, you open it, take your bicycle and then shut it down back again. So, going back to the beach. There are too many sunbeds on the beach. This has been happening for quite some years. I absolutely get that this year Benidorm is planning to receive a record amount of tourists. But I do feel that I've never, ever, ever seen all the sunbeds occupied. Never in this whole entire time, in more than a decade. Never have I ever seen all sunbeds occupied by tourists. The sand area itself, yes hardly any spot in peak season even right here by the promenade but for all the sunbeds to be occupied i've not seen it and i do have a feeling that this year there's even more spots on the beach booked for the paid sunbeds which i do not actually think is nice because the beach is for everyone it's free for everyone and blocking more than half of beach for paid sunbeds is not really a fair decision to make let us know what you think about it, but in between the giant amount of paid sunbeds, plus the areas that are pre-booked for uh, storage for the umbrellas, plus the areas that are, will be used for the pedals, plus the one that will be used shortly for the swimming platform, like in float up floating platform in the sea. So there is a lot of places that will be kind of booked, as you can see. And all the rest of it is not going to be enough for tourists here in the area. So we'll see. It's going to be really, really interesting to actually see how this year will function. Because it's going to be the busiest. The probably hardest year in terms of for those who live here permanently. Because there's going to be a lot of people everywhere around Benidorm. So we'll see how it goes. I'm being optimistic because it's good for the region. It's good for businesses. It's good for all the people who work in the tourism industry. It's great for the tourists. But sometimes uh, even tourists say it's likely too much when you can hardly pass through the streets uh, of the huge amount of people that are walking there uh, daily. Oh, are they doing some refurbishment in the hotel? It's interesting. The inside hotel, actually, by Melia Group. Before it was Sol Costa Blanca. Now it's inside by Melia Costa Blanca. And they did change a tiny bit the outside part. But the vast majority of changes are on the inside. Uh, category right now is slightly higher. They have everything brand new. And it's adults recommended place where to stay on the front line of the beach. Some people do say it's quite lovely inside. Daytona, this is a rock and beach bar with live music. People are waving. Hi. <laughs> people are nice. See? Last majority, obviously. Uh, people are waving, saying hi. This is a very nice live music bar. They always have a good atmosphere. Fish and chips place. We need to come and try it out. Let us know if you want us to do so. Hand cut chips. Okay. Fish and chips, 10.50. And then they have... 450 fries three euros curry gravy one euro more uh, nuggets of fish 750 we need to try it out this place is quite famous by the way a lot of people said they liked it so 
if you want us to try out fish and chips right here on the Levante Beach, oh, let us know, please. We will gladly do so because we're actually quite curious ourselves. If this place might be one of the best fish and chip places in Benidorm town, if we could categorize it like this and if it is recommended to visit during your holidays, if you're a fan of this type of, it's not a fast food, but it's slightly faster than a regular restaurant is. Here in Spain, it's not considered fast food at all, but you can grab it as a takeaway. So we can check it out for you guys. Tattoo and body piercing places, pizza and um, kind of Italian style restaurants here, which at the same time, it's a gelato. See, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Um, I do not like these type of street performers, mostly because I feel that people are being pressured in giving them the money. Why? Because first of all, I don't know if he is the one playing the music because that's like electric thing, and you put it onto a loudspeaker, and you never know if it's him actually playing the music. Which, if it is, very very good job. But you never know if it's him or if it's like a song they're putting somewhere and just connects and you kind of do like you're playing, but you're not playing anything actually. So this is was something that I was curious about. And also I do not like because always, always there is a woman with him and there is always a woman with a children's like boogie. And I do feel it's kind of making a pressure on a lot of people, even if you don't like the music or even if you don't feel like... Um, even if you cannot physically give the money because you're lacking money or you cannot spend extra money on things, you know, have a fixed budget. But it kind of makes you feel bad and wants to give the money only because he has a family with him. So it's not completely fair, you know, it's not for entertainment, obviously. And they're kind of just asking money like this. So I'm not quite sure if it's fair. I don't really know how I feel about it. Obviously, if it's him making this music without help of any machine or it's not pre-recorded then he's doing a good job but still having a family having a kid right there just standing next to him all the time feels like begging the money you know if you know what i mean not sure if it's a correct way to do so if people wants to give him money they will give him money in any case but i get why they're doing this because obviously people feel the pressure we felt it too um, to give them at least something because seeing that he has a family so pressure kind of works on a lot of people there will be more and more artists by the way like this is going to be street performance there's going to be people by the old town painters artists musicians there's going to be probably once again potato men i did not see the potato scam for quite a while now in benidorm town Hopefully they disappeared, but something tells me they will be really back very, very soon. As soon as slightly more tourists arrive. People are way more cautious with it each and every single day. So I'm very happy that less and less people are attracted to this type of scam because you will never win. You'll just lose your money. And if it's not losing it there, they will pickpocket you. So you need to be very careful. If you don't know what the potato scam is, we have a video here on the channel. Just put Benidorm by Anna potato scam and you will see the video uh, in action so that you would know what it actually is. And we explain how it works and why it is really, really dangerous if you play this game. Uh, so a lot of people know it. A lot of people alert their friends, relatives who come here to the area and... Uh, Obviously, they know that this is happening, so they do not play this game any longer, which I'm really happy about. Look at the Tiki Town, how nicely decorated it is. It's a very, very nice. I suppose it's for the beginning of a brand new summer season uh, or the Fayas, the celebration of Fayas here in the area. Tiki Combo, Tiki Smirnoff Ice Freezer. Never tried one. Two for seven euros. That's kind of seems like not a bad price 350 for a bottle of this type of drink mm, might be a usual price however i do feel that years a couple of years ago we had it like for three euros or even 250 if i'm not wrong but prices go up go higher everywhere you will see it everywhere as we managed to see from a lot of you guys comments 
prices are rising up everywhere not only for tourists but for locals for people's lives for rent for mortgage for food for everything it's rising up everywhere in europe at least so it's a difficult situation thus we should not be surprised it's rising here too the good thing is that hotels did not rise the accommodation options as much as they could have we have one of the lowest rates comparing to other tourism destinations so it's very very good ice cream places opened up look at that helado sirven this is a chain they've opened up weeks ago probably like three four weeks ago maybe in a month very nice place nice ice cream not bad pricing too <laughs> so uh, i do feel that it's it's a good place where to get some ice cream some smoothie some slushy or a milkshake if you like those rico our favorite place one of the top places we could recommend the same as nabab cafeteria we are planning to go here to grab some breakfast or some snacks to try it out for you guys they have beer they have breakfast they have snacks they have drinks of different kind different types of meals and it's actually a very nice place where to go even though it's situated right here on the promenade basically by the seashore by the levante beach still they have quite reasonable prices i must say it's not the cheapest place where you could go obviously but being right by the beach it's still quite reasonably priced at least for now the barcelo benidorm beach hotel is also located right here nearby seems that it's functioning it seems that people are coming here people are booking so people are interested in trying it out because it's a brand new hotel the terraces are not as busy though i do not see so so many visitors here on the terrace uh, at the bar but people do say that it's a nice hotel on the inside sometime in the future hopefully they will let us film the hotel for you guys uh, so that you would be able to see with your own eyes what it looks like and the last bit of the levante beach right here right at the beginning of the old town has some good selection of different places maui gastro lounge for example a uh, beach gastro lounge they serve ice cream they serve snack this place is a part of magic costa blanca hotels chain then we have spaso where we've tried typical spanish breakfast before uh, and they've changed a lot of things since then as they've at least let us know uh, from the last video when we filmed it so it should be very very nice uh, at least from what they've said we might be doing a simple visit there maybe not for a video just like this to see if it's actually getting better or not and this is how the levante beach looks like today lovely place even if it's going towards the second week of march it's still great the weather is amazing there is a lot of people here you can sunbathe you can enjoy the day even walk bare feet by the water Great times in Benidorm.